So today I'm going to take you through the Wi-Fi setup of your Aber X6. So before I share my screen, I just want to show you two things on the machine. So the first is the QR code that you're going to use to do the pairing and the reset button that you're going to hold in until you hear a binging noise, which will confirm the reset of your machine. All right, so I'm going to now go and share my screen and take you through the setup. So you're going to go to the Google Play Store or the uh, iStore and download the this app, this WeBack app. I'm going to tap on the app because I've already downloaded it. And then I'm going to log in. Okay, so you're going to obviously register on the app. I'm also going to, at the same time, delete a machine that's already been set up, just so that if you basically moving house or putting the um, machine in a different area and you need to reset and make a new app, then this will obviously help uh, to show you how to do that as well. All right, so I'm going to click the... Uh, the gear icon and then I'm going to say delete device deleting the device now as obviously if you haven't got a machine or you, this is the first time you're setting up your machine you're going to press the plus button okay it's going to now look for the QR code okay so that was quite quick it's now asking for the password okay so you're going to put in the password here Okay, so now I've put in the code for the Wi-Fi router and I've clicked next. And so now I'm going to push the button on the machine that I told you about earlier until you hear the bing noise. Let's just push it in there. Hold the button in. Okay, that is the reset button. And I'm going to click the next that I've confirmed. Okay, now it's going to carry on trying to connect the machine. Okay. And then and just wait for it. As you can hear, I've got kids. Which is why this machine is such a lifesaver. Obviously, somebody's been hurt. Hopefully, it's a uh, Bobby and Ken are going to be okay there. Okay, it's connected. Now asking us to connect to the robot Wi-Fi. So I'm going to click on my wi site settings. Okay, you can see the robot Wi-Fi there. I'm going to click on the robot Wi-Fi. It's connected to the robot Wi-Fi. And now it's going to go back. All right. There we go. And then it's going to carry on connecting the machine. All right. As you can see, it's successfully connected. I'm going to click confirm. All right. And the machine has now been connected. As you can see, it's in standby. Just to go into the app, to, just to show you a little bit around the app. Okay, there's no map uh, in the screen um, yet, because obviously we've just set up the machine and we've just reset it. Okay, so the first thing, just to show you at the bottom of the screen on the left-hand side, I'm gonna click the start clean. Start cleaning. Okay, that's Cleaning's the normal suspended. default smart clean version of the clean so just to go into the different cleaning modes you've got the smart clean the edge clean that basically runs against all the your edges in your in the area that is cleaning and then focus clean is basically cleaning the area uh, where you put it so if you take the machine you put it somewhere and you just kind of want to do a, a small area you click the focus clean then if i wanted to go back to base. its charging base you click the charging base Tap the more button right there. Okay. 
So I'm going to start at the bottom. The positioning is if the machine's being caught underneath a bed or a couch or something. You'll click it and it makes that noise so you can find it. Okay, if you want to drive it like a remote control car, you can. Okay, that's the direction button. Okay, the delete data is if you want it to map a new map for you. If it's cleaning a new area. If the map is already done, you can actually select by clean zone, you can actually select an area on the map and the machine will find its way to that area and clean that area. If you don't want it to go into a room or don't want it to go past a certain space or not go past something, uh, you'll click the uh, virtual line and you can actually draw a line on the map like so. In terms of the instruction, if you want it to go and clean a specific area on the map, you'll click instruction. I don't obviously have a map uh, displayed, but you'll click on the instruction and then it'll go clean that specific area on the on your map if you like this video please click the like and subscribe and if there's any other videos you'd like to see explanations just uh, leave it in the comment section of the video below thanks